Good morning, everybody. I would like to first thank Ms. Dravina and the whole school reformer team for inviting me to this platform as a guest speaker. It is a great joy and honor to be part of today's meeting and to present the vision that I carry. During my teenage years, I had a passion for music and making a positive difference in the lives of people. As I grew up, I learned from my own experiences that success alone is not enough in our life. Inner satisfaction is also very important. There came a time in my life when I decided to study theology, uh, learning about different beliefs and systems, entering the teaching world as an educator to being a lifelong learner and spreading it awareness for nurturing and empowering the next generation of leaders and innovators. Welcome to our meeting on the legacy of exemplary educators. As you can see the whole picture over here, you can see the educator uh, leading uh, the next generation, shaping future generation is today what I'll be speaking. I'm thrilled to have you all as we explore the profound impact that our outstanding educators have had on shaping the minds and lives of future generations. Today, I will honor their contributions, share inspiring stories, and discuss ways to continue their legacy of excellence in education. Who knows, tomorrow it can be us. Thanks for being here. As you can see over here, Michael Dida once said, throughout history, the exemplary teacher has never been just an instructor in a subject. They are nearly always its living advertisement. We are the example. We are the living ad advertisement that our children follow, that, that our children look up to. The leg legacy of exemplary educators is a testament to the profound impact that dedicated, passionate, and innovative teachers can have on the students and society. By shaping the minds and hearts of future generations, these educators ensure that their influence is felt long after the students have left the classroom. Their commitment to education, personal growth, and social responsibility continues to inspire and guide new generations of learners, making the world a better place for all of us. Today, as I move on to talking about the legacy of educators, I will give a small introduction about it. Personally, I have learned from the lives of so many exemplary educators around the world. And I feel we are so privileged to learn through their lives. And uh, let's move on to some of the great examples from which I have personally learned. And I'm sure uh, you will be inspired too as an educator. Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan, the second president of India and a distinguished philosopher. He emphasized the importance of education and teachers. His birthday, we all know that we celebrate in India, it's Teachers Day to honor educators' contributions. We have another great uh, educators who inspired us in India, from India, Rabindranath Tagorchi and Sugata Mitra. They both have been very inspiring in my life and have learned so many things as I have uh, gone through uh, briefly in their books. Rabindranath Tagore promoting a holistic approach to education that integrated the arts, humanities, and sciences. 
His educational philosophy emphasized creativity, freedom, and a connection with nature. And personally, I, I love creativity because I'm a music teacher as well as I teach English as my secondary language. And I love connecting with the nature because nature helps me to connect with the Lord Almighty. So that is why I am so influenced by Rabindranath Tagore Chi. Secondly, we have Sugatra Mitra. Uh, he is known for his hole in the wall experiments, which demonstrated that children could teach themselves and each other if we provided with the right resources. His work has significantly impacted the understanding of self organized learning environments. Here, Again, I have learned uh, so much from Sugata Mitra because uh, the, the demonstration that he had, the children could teach themselves. At this time, when most of the resources, sometimes there's so many financial uh, difficulties uh, that one goes through, there are so many, uh, so many children who have a lot of potential. And because of the finances, they are not able to move forward in their lives. I'm glad that we have uh, courses made for them, that they are able to study at home uh, and they can grow as professionals. They can make some remark in the society and the education for them has not stopped. Then we have Malala from Pakistan. Although primarily known for her activism, she has become an influential educator by advocating for girls' education worldwide. Her courage and resilience have inspired countless young women to pursue education despite adversities. We have Maria Montessori from Italy. She developed the Montessori method of education which emphasizes independence, freedom within limits, and respect for a child's natural psychological development. Her approach has been implemented in schools worldwide. We can see that in the early childhood education. And when I teach primary, uh, primary education, I can see how important Montessori education is. The strategies that we use in Montessori, it is very important for a teacher who is teaching in a primary section. Because if you're very new to the methods of teaching, uh, especially in primary, it becomes very difficult to approach the younger kids. So I really appreciate the work of Ms. Maria Montessori from Italy. We have Nancy from USA. She's an American educator and author, and she's renowned for her work in reading and writing instruction. Her pointering methods and books, such as In the Middle, as I have mentioned over here, have influenced language arts education worldwide. She was the first recipient of the Global Teacher Prize in 2015, and Peter Tabuchi from Kenya, a Kenyan science teacher who won the Global Teacher Prize in 2019. He donates 80% of his salary to support his students and the community. His dedication to improving education in rural Kenya and his innovative teaching methods have significantly impacted his students' lives. And uh, personally, uh, Peter Tabachi has helped me as an educator because there was a time when, um, you know, I was getting so many students from uh, places who could not afford. And uh, learning about Peter Tabachi I was like, how can he be so selfless in teaching 
students and just letting them grow as as someone who can set an example in the future and uh, looking at his testament i uh, was so encouraged that i was able to help and provide education to the students who had a lot of potential but they did not have financial support and there are so many that we find in india uh, all of them that we have gone through uh, it's all around the world but there are many 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 who are in india that we can find and uh, sabitri bai ravindranath tagore dr apj abdul kalam anand kumar recently i watched uh, a movie super 30 and uh, from that movie i came to know about anand kumar and i was so encouraged so, so motivated to read about him and i came to know that anand kumar has helped underprivileged students prepare for the highly competitive indian institutes of technology entrance exam his dedication has transformed the lives of many students from disadvantaged backgrounds and uh, these things should not limit the educators and in fact the students the children and the parents who really want their children to learn something to see them grow in their lives they have some of the other dreams set for their children but despite of so many adversities they are not able to uh, support their children but uh, let me tell you that they are the future of tomorrow so all the educators i would like to encourage everybody of you that there are parents who are looking forward to see their children grow and become leaders uh, for the tomorrow's uh, generation and if we today uh, you know not look not just look into the success as an educator but the satisfaction that we get when we go to the bed and lie down to sleep it's so satisfying and we are at peace that we have uh, impacted the lives of many 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 uh, families these educators exemplify the transformative power of dedication innovation and compassion in teaching their work continues to inspire and set a high standard for educators worldwide and personally me as an educator we do have historical context i'm Uh, a bit of uh, someone who loves doing research apart from my music i am a researcher and i love getting into the history i love watching movies that has history in it i love to watch uh, kingdom stories i love to watch laws stories you know which has laws in it and uh, yes uh, going back to our history we can see that how uh, we have seen the evolution happening from the ancient civilization to the modern era and this has helped all of us and the educators today as well to uh, move forward and learn from the past and innovate new ideas create new ideas and it is amazing we have seen the ancient civilization uh, you know how it all started the mesopotamia ancient egypt ancient greece rome you know small small things we have all started they imparted practical skills religious teachings classical knowledge then we could see the middle ages that how uh, there was uh, cathedral schools Uh, the primary centers of learning were made and uh, from preserving classical knowledge to teaching religious doctrines were uh, emphasized then we could see the evolution happening and then we went to the 
modern era that we can see that enlightened uh, this enlightenment brought about significant educational reforms, emphasizing reason, science, individual rights. The 19th and the 20th centuries saw the establishment of public education systems aiming for universal literacy and compulsory schooling. And we really thank all the reformers who have made a great, great impact in the field of education that today we have the schools for everybody uh, it's inclusive and they have made rights for everybody and i really thank everybody of them we'll see the key features uh, in the history of education you know uh, how these people have done such a great work emphasizing from moral integrity and the importance of education in cultivating virtuous leaders um, and promoting experiential learning and the role of education in democratic society. We have so many different curriculums today, um, not just one, but uh, so many that we can see any, any student who likes and feels comfortable studying a state curriculum, uh, chooses to go in the state curriculum, ICSC curriculum, IGCSC curriculum, IB curriculum, CBSC curriculum. These curriculums are uh, so impactful in the lives of uh, this generation that they are free to choose uh, where they feel they are comfortable. You know, there, there are students who may not uh, grow in the field of IB, in the IB curriculum, or CBSC curriculum, they feel that they uh, they are doing good in state uh, curriculum, uh, which is very good. All the curriculums are very nice. Uh, according to the need of a student, every student has the potential. They have different skills, and every student should be encouraged to study wherever they feel they are comfortable studying, as long as they are growing in the knowledge, as long as they are growing in integrity is what our future is looking forward to. We have uh, seen the major milestones in educational development. And as we can see how uh, in the 11th and 13th centuries, the uh, founding of major universities, Oxford, Paris marked the formalization of higher education, and then how UNESCO in 1945 uh, you know, promoted education for all, fostering international collaboration. And today we have uh, international collaboration. The door is open for everybody who ever wants to learn and grow professionally as well as, as a leader. And then in the 21st century, uh, we can see how technology integrated. And uh, during the COVID time, it was very hard for all of us as teachers uh, and hats off to all the uh, technology teacher who integrated uh, technology into our lives and made it so common uh, in everybody's life that today every teacher uh, be it now teacher, be it a mathematics teacher, or be it a sports teacher, everybody is able to uh, promote the skill of technology and uh, uh, the Apple training. And uh, many of the schools have uh, uh, given the professional development uh, like Apple training, and there are like so many inbuilt uh, professional developments for the teacher. And we can see how digital technologies and the internet, internet has transformed education, enabling online learning and access to a vast era of resources. And um, most of the uh, studies that we are not able to find uh, in today's uh, library, we are able to get it online. And it's mo most, of, most of the resources are also free. And um, it's, it's really nice to see how uh, impactful our educational system is uh, evolving. 
These elements uh, provide a comprehensive historical context for understanding the evolution of education and the contributions of exemplary educators in shaping future generations. This picture I have taken from Google, both the pictures, and uh, it was very inspiring to see uh, how a teacher is watering, nurturing the minds of our children today. Educators are interested with the responsibility of imparting knowledge, encouraging critical thinking, and nurturing the intellectual and emotional growth of their students. It's just not the knowledge. The student comes, we have planned a lesson plan, and there we go. This is the time was set. And in the beginning, five minutes, this is what we have to do. And then this is what we have to do. And this is how we have to end the whole uh, class. But it's more than the classroom. It's more than the lesson plan. The, the teacher plays a crucial role in instilling values, ethics, social responsibility in many ways. Teachers act as role models, mentors, and guides helping students navigate complexity of life and learning. We can see the characteristics and how they influence and influence the student. And then how, through the students, the whole society is influenced. So whatever the teacher, whatever the educator, um, in skills in this life of students, they take it forward. And I still remember all the teachers who have literally instilled values and ethics in my life. Uh, today, I'm able to speak. Today, I'm able to contribute in the world of education. It's because of all the uh, exemplary educators that I have come across during the time of my schooling and uh, today who whatever i am today if i have started liking uh, the educational system if uh, there's a soft corner for all those children it's because of the love and the care that our teachers have shown towards us and uh, uh, you can be just an educator and come to work and uh, do your job and go back home. And then it's another day. You can continue with the same routine, but it takes a lot of effort to be an exemplary educator. You need to be passionate for teaching. You need to be innovative uh, in teaching methods. You need to be empathetic and understanding. You need to be committed to continuous improvement, not just where you were, whatever you have learned in your uh, college days is not enough. But practicing and upgrading yourself is very, very important. You should have ability to inspire and motivate students to achieve their full potential, the belief in the student's ability and provide the support needed to help them succeed. Uh, there are different culture, different languages, but one thing that remains is being an exemplary educating, uh, educator who, con who is consisting of these characteristics, these traits, who is passionate about teaching, nurturing students, empathetic and understanding, you know, before, uh, before getting into the classroom, or when you start the class, uh, every time uh, think if my student comes uh, and they're not happy, they're not happy, maybe they, they must be going through something in their lives or uh, there's so many adolescent uh, stages uh, in the lives of students. Uh, we have to understand as educator that we have to sit down with them and understand first before we get into the perspective of teaching in the classroom. Because if the student is uh, ready in their mind to grasp the knowledge is when we can make them as a leader. And these are uh, so many things that we see in the challenge, uh, see in the life of educators. 
and we also overcome challenges but in the end all i want to say is that uh, the educator's life is very very crucial it plays a pivotal role in the lives of our students the importance of mindful communication and conduct in the end is very important the way educators communicate and conduct themselves can significantly impact the effectiveness and well-being of our students the way uh, we communicate makes a lot of difference the dialogues the respectful dialogues uh, are a body personality uh, when students feel heard and valued they are more engaged and motivated and in the end all i want to say is that the legacy of exemplary educators is evident in the lives of countless individuals they have touched as we reflect on the significant impact let us recommit ourselves to mindful communication and conduct the journey of an educator is filled with challenges but it is also incredibly rewarding the contribution we make today will shape the world of tomorrow thank you for your time and commitment to nurturing and empowering the next generation of leaders and innovators thank you thank you mr kanshu can you hear me yes i can hear you can you please stop sharing the screen please sure thank you so as we have uh, already finished the 30 minutes of time ma'am i'll ask you only a couple of questions there is not uh, much room for the question answer round here sure uh, coming to the challenges what are the biggest challenges exemplary educators face in today's educational landscape uh there are many challenges like resource uh, resources and uh, the understanding with the parents so Uh, they are endless uh, endless uh, challenges but these are the two challenges that we face in today's time and the first one is the resources the second one that i feel is uh, interaction with the parents and making them understand the whole idea and concept of uh, the curriculum and the planning that we uh, put in forward for the learning so if we have the right resources we are able to meet the needs of the students uh, be it uh, the the technology or be it uh, the books that we share with the students or the library uh, which should be full of uh, books for the students to read and grow in their knowledge thank you <laughs> to innovative practices ma'am what innovative teaching practices have you implemented that you believe will leave in the lasting legacy uh, can you repeat the question again what innovative teaching practices have you implement have you implemented in your teaching the innovative uh, practices that i have implemented in my teaching is uh, from uh, integrating um, technology and uh, using pictorial methods of uh making the student understand because uh, many students uh, uh when i was growing up as a uh, as a student i i saw many of my uh, peers were struggling to understand and read the whole a uh, whole uh, concept or anything that uh, the teacher was teaching but each time there were pictures they were able to understand and grasp there were video share they were able to grasp so teaching through the method of uh, videos pictures and inclusivity is very important and these are the innovative methods that i have uh, used in my teaching method and also upgrading myself uh, during the time of 
my education um, Yeah, ma'am. So, what is the role of mentorship in shaping exemplary educators in your view? Ms. Akansha, can you hear me? Yeah, your voice is breaking. Uh, sorry. So, what is the role of mentorship in shaping exemplary educators? It's very important for uh, every educators to go through a time where they can develop as educators. And it is very important even for the mentor, uh, mentors to uh, mentors, not just the life of students, but also the educators. Because if the educators is positive, if the educators are positive, they will be able to nurture students as well so to uh, to nurture it all starts with nurturing the educators and when the educators are nurtured they are planted well all green and they are able to produce fruits that they can share with the students not just in the classroom but also in the society that is around them thank you so thank you for the talk, Ms. Akansha, and uh, you have answered the pa uh, questions patiently, though uh, it was uh, repetitive. Um, because of the time crunch, ma'am, we need to end the session. It was a very informative session. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks uh, from uh, School Reformer again for participating. Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you so much.